In this training video, we're going to talk about the use of the marker functionality found in Video Surgeon. The marker area is found down here on the timeline right at the top. And when we talk about markers, we're really referring to simply informational markers, little notes or markers that you can place on the timeline and that you can label to help you identify quickly a specific area or areas within a video. And you set those markers in one of a couple of ways. First of all, as the video is playing and you reach something where you see a visual cue that you like to set a marker, you simply click the marker button up here and it inserts the marker down here over top the progress indicator because the progress indicator follows the progression of the video. And when you click the marker, it's going to put that marker at the exact point in time that the video is when you click it. The other way you can set markers is to left click with your mouse in this area right here at the top. So I can click and set multiple markers throughout this particular video. And then once you've set a marker, you can fine tune it if you like to by simply putting your mouse over top of it, holding down with your left mouse button and then sliding it either to the left or the right. And the other thing that you can do is if you right click, you can delete a marker or if you'd like to edit it, meaning rename it, you can then go in instead of using the default M1, M2, M3, you might have something like the car solo. And if you wanted to change the location slightly, in this case, it's this was marker three and it is at 16,259th frame. If you wanted to change that to the 200 and 60th frame, you could do that and select OK. And now it says guitar solo and it is slightly repositioned this particular marker. So that is almost everything you need to know about markers. The only other thing that we should talk about here is the ability to jump between markers because again, the concept of markers is to help you quickly identify and to jump to specific locations within the video. So if you use these marker jump to buttons down here, we can jump between the markers. So let's do that. So you can see we've jumped from wherever the progress indicator was to this particular marker that says guitar solo. We click it again. We go to marker four, marker five, marker six. And of course, if we use the back arrow button, we can jump backwards in time. So this gives you a way to navigate quickly through all the markers you've set on the particular video and help you find a particular location that you're looking for quickly. So with that, we will conclude this video tutorial on the use of the marker functionality found in Video Surgeon version two.